A PSI is a unit of measure in the Imperial or US customary systems. It's got a metric equivalent in the metric system. It is Pascals. Either which way, PSIs or Pascals are used to measure pressure. And pressure intuitively means pressing down, pushing down. PSI stands for pounds per square inch. Fairly straightforward, pounds is just pounds and square inches is, an, uh, is a unit of measure. One square inch is a surface area of this tile here because its width is one inch and its length is one inch or its side length is one inch so it's got an area or footprint of one square inch so if I push it on the paper and it makes a little print that's one square inch of area the, th the, uh, the word in the middle per is not an English word it is a Latin based word uh, Romans language speakers immediately recognize it and have a clue about it but the English speakers usually don't I am going to include a clip here about a blondie who doesn't get miles per hour and yeah, it's not really intuitive per means the business of division or if I wanted to put in an English word it would be over pounds over square inch let me show you what this division here means actually I'm not going to this paper here is one square inch and here is the one pound over it there and the pressure is evenly divided because I said this is this means business of division the pressure is neatly divided over that square inch come on down take a look uh, there you can see that the one pound mass is resting on top of the square inch so the pressure on the paper here underneath the square inch is one pound so we have a pressure of one psi one pound over that square inch if I want to replace this one pound mass with a two pound one there so now the pressure on the paper underneath that square tile is two psi two pounds per square inch and intuitively if I put this one on top of it now we have a pressure of three psi's underneath the paper underneath the square tile it it also works with multiples of tiles if I have so that's one way to increase the pressure to decrease pressure you have to increase the area now I have two pieces of square tiles both the same size if I have the one pound weight uh, neatly resting over the surface area of two square inches I have one pound over two square inches, one over two or 0 0.5, I have 0 0.5 psi underneath the paper, sorry, on the paper underneath the square tiles. If I have four of these square tiles in total and put the one pound on it, now I decrease the pressure to 0 0.25 psi because the one pound is over four square inches one over four is 0 0.25 I'll show you how it looks like in writing real fast come on up here there about so what we had here was first there was just one of these and I'm gonna go the green one for the square inches there so first we had, why do I write it? I write it here. We had one square inch and just come on up a little higher. There, one square inch and over it was one pound. One over one is one and you can just write PSI, pounds per square inch. Okay, pounds square inch. There when I had 
this one on top of that one square inch we had two pounds over the one square inch so that was a pressure of two over one two divided by one is two psi I'm not gonna write down the one when we had three over one square inch you get the idea when uh, I had two of these that was an area of two square inches and on top of them there was one pound there LB one over two was the same as 0 0.5 PSI and the last one I had four square inches and I had the I don't know not the two pound I'll make it the one I'll make this one one pounder over the four square tiles in that configuration now the pressure underneath the combined area of all of these four all of these four is your four square inch there the pressure on that surface area was 0 0.25 1 divided by 4 0 0.25 and just write PSI so there you have it that's what a PSI is that's how it works